what's up guys it's your girl fire here in today's video i'm going to be making hawaiian food okay um <laughs> i had to start my bringing journey for this i just had to get a taste of home because i miss it so much so today i'm making kalo pork and cabbage you can omit the cabbage if you want but kalo pork and cabbage and lomi salmon straight traditional if you are here for this recipe then stay to the end of the video and let's get started So traditionally, Kalua pork means you're cooking the pork in an underground oven. So how that works is you dig a hole in your backyard big enough for your pig to fit in. You put tea leaf down and then you put volcanic rock. You kind of set it on fire for the most part, put the pig in there, and then you cover it back up and which the pig kind of smokes underground for about a day or something that method is used if you are feeding a village or if you are feeding a very big party but if you're not a pork loin roast or a pork shoulder would do for the seasonings all you need is black pepper if you have hawaiian salt you can use hawaiian salt if you don't have that then you can use pink himalayan salt and if you don't have that then just use your regular morton salt and to get that imitated liquid smoke flavor i'm just going to use some liquid smoke and then um, traditionally, I don't think they use garlic, but I love the flavor, so I'm going to use two cloves of garlic. And for my method, I'm just going to use a crock pot. If you don't have that, you can use your oven. First things first, you want to wash off the meat and kind of sterilize it. And to sterilize my meat, I use apple cider vinegar and I wash it in there, make sure that everything is covered in it and I let it sit for about five minutes. and that's just to clean the meat you know what I mean cuz you never know after that make some inserts into the meat so you can place the garlic in there if you are using it and what this is gonna do is just build flavor and just make it taste so good when it's simmering in the crock pot so at this point all you have to do is put the pork in the crock pot start to season it with salt and liquid smoke and pepper this is all to taste okay and a little bit of water if you choose to use cabbage cut it up into bite-sized pieces and put it in the crock pot 30 minutes before the pork is done now for our lomi salmon I'm using this smoked salmon in oil because I do not have any cured smoked salmon that is what it's usually made with but I have here some sweet onion two tomatoes and some green onion I'm just using some regular salt now cut up everything and just put it all together and let it sit in the refrigerator for at least 30 to an hour so that all the flavors can come together but everything is to taste pretty much this is kind of like a Hawaiian pico de gallo. And when the meat is ready all you have to do is peel it back with a fork so it looks shredded and that's pretty much it if you want to add more salt you can add more salt at this time if you feel like it's not liquid smoke enough then you can add more of that you know you can dress it up the way you want to but traditionally this is pretty much all we do you serve it with some white rice <laughs> you have to serve it with white rice and it'll come out like that um, I didn't have any aloha show you so I had to just use this Chinese brand or whatever but it tastes kind of the same just less salty <laughs> and um, yeah you just put that on your rice and you're good to go you have a good Hawaiian meal perfect if you're not at home and you feel like you want to make some Hawaiian food this will take you back seriously but that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys try this recipe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.